There we go, recording started. Let's get into it, shall we? Enough of my, my woes trying to find retro video game MSRP's launch prices. Uh, we are playing, I guess I saved it as the Godfolk. Looks about right. I don't know what else I would have saved it as. Hopefully this is the right one. Is it the right one? Yeah, no, this is the right one. We got Mr. Noodle, Optijack, Nate A, and Rue. And then somewhere floating around here, we got Chocobo. What is on Chocobo's forehead? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't... Did we give Chocobo a third eye or something? I'm confused. Look, I remember Rue was a, a dragon person, kind of. You know, as much as you can do in the game. Noodle was, I think, a cat person, like a Khajiit-style thing. Nate was a, a dwarf-type person that likes to mine and things. I think Chocobo was an elf, elvish inspiration, and Optijack was a furry. Um, <laughs> was is that what we did? Was it <laughs> was uh, a, a werewolf inspiration? I think I think maybe that's what we did. I don't remember 100% sure. I think so. Um, everyone is very hungry holy crap dude we really need to get some food going okay let's before we even do anything else man do we have any animals on the map wildlife wise we do there's a bunch of horses alpaca i wonder what gives more more meat mm, is this chance that they'll attack i wish there i know there's a mod that lets you change this to show how much meat stuff gives and whatnot um i obviously do not have it i'm assuming horses would give a fair amount of meat though so let's go ahead and mark a couple horses to be hunted and hit go who do we have on hunting mr noodle and optijack one of those two can start hunting we have a couple blood packs left for for uh, Optijack, should he decide to use them. He doesn't have to, I don't think, use them, but he can use them for extra, to, to use extra abilities or whatever. Since this turkey and Ibex are like right here, I'm gonna go ahead and mark them for hunting too. War Merchant, very cool. Ambrosia Sprout, uh, oh, right here. That's actually super convenient. One fun thing, if you didn't know, you can do with Ambrosia Sprouts or, or anything that like wildly grows on the map. You can put a growing zone on it there, and then you can just say, turn off sowing for it. Um, this menu looks a little bit different because I'm using a mod that makes farming a little bit more smart. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, the uh, you, you, you just put a, a sowing zone or a growing zone on it, turn off sowing, and then whenever it finally matures, they'll go ahead and harvest it automatically because it's a finished grown plant in a growing zone, but they won't, like, actually grow anything there. Otherwise, you would have to, like, remember that it's there, come back to it whenever it's fully grown and do that. Uh, since we do have this smart thing, one thing I want to do, this is rice. Let's put rice on critical. Let's get make that super important, man. Strawberry potatoes, because rice grows super quick. So all of the, the rice here, put on critical priority. Make sure the rice is getting taken care of before anything else. Hops and hay, yeah, that's not nearly as important. Uh, I highly doubt the war merchants have any food, considering, you know, they're war merchants. But let's go ahead and talk to them, see if they have anything that we're interested in here. They have some animals. They do have some pemmican, which is food. It's not particularly good food, but it is food. Um, problem is we have like nothing to sell them in return. Where did, did we not? Oh, we have a tribal start. So we have like no money starting out. We have Vlad, a cobra. Uh, you know what? We can't really afford to take care of animals right now, so we're gonna go ahead and give up Vlad. <laughs> we don't, we don't really need a pet cobra, anyways. And then I guess we're just gonna have to take this way down. Uh, I don't know. Can we afford a hundred? Uh, just 
if 99 <laughs> there we go except so there's some pemmican it's not good food but at least it's food it's it's something we can eat uh is anybody hunting yet mr noodle no somebody please hunt do we have hunt on a high priority it's on a level four which for us is a high priority um four is like our our baseline basically so either Noodle or Optijack, one or the other, should start doing that relatively soon. Look at that. Man, we're already down to 40 pemmican. We bought 99, and it's already, like, nothing. And Rue is still starving. Why did you not eat, my guy? Go eat. <laughs> Go eat your pemmican. I know it's gross, but it doesn't matter. Mr. Noodle complimented Rue's hands. Apparently, Rue has nice hands. All right, let's go ahead and uh, speed things up a little bit. Optijack, what are you doing? Look, I'm glad you're having some recreation time or whatever, but go hunt. Get us some food, please. <laughs> we need we need a nice, consistent source of food. Um, we're not messing with that stuff right now. This, if I'm not mistaken, is how we get our robots. But by interacting with it, we'll summon robots. So, <laughs> so yeah. I don't think we're ready to take on the, the robots, man. Mechs are, are strong. Is this horse ever going to go down? Come on, man. Bleeding out in seven hours? It's going to run off the map or something. I'm going to be so pissed. Shoot it! Six hours. There we go, dude. Nice. So there's a little bit of meat. We can at least make some, some meals. We do have a stove, yes. Do we have stuff in here? Make pemmican one time why is that set to one time no where's all my mods hold on a sec oh uh, there must have been an update or something okay hold on hold on save game god folk uh temp temo no temp you've never been so disappointed by a snack in my life what happened with your snack dude okay quit the main menu mods why Depends on TD Fine Library? What? That was never a thing before. Okay, well, whatever. TDS bug fixes? Oh my lord, this goes so deep. Okay, subscribe. Subscribe. Um, Close that. I guess you guys probably can't actually see that menu, which, I mean, is fine. Whatever. And then auto sort mods. Save and apply. Sadly, that means the game's going to have to restart, but... Goldfish extra cheesy pizza flavor are not good. Expect a better from Goldfish. I don't think I've ever tried any of the Goldfish flavors, but I do like Goldfish. Like, just the, the regular um, whatever Goldfish. Oh, you know what I just realized? Bo is missing. How do we not have Bo on here? Uh, We're going to have to fix that. Add existing... Twitch pet. Okay. Um, Bo's gonna have to be a lot smaller for this one, I think. But he can go, like, right here-ish. There we go. There's Bo. So Bo's a lot smaller this time around, but, like... <laughs> Was wondering how long you gotta call that sort of stuff out, man. There's a good chance I'll never notice if you just if you just leave it up to fate. Uh load anyways, yes. We added some new mods, that's fine. We need our dragon, yes, yes we do, man. It's our class pet. Okay. So now if we go to bills here. X per person, one per person plus. Oh. Now we're gonna do x per person but we only want like i don't know keep around well okay gotta remember each person eats like for holy shit dude <laughs> hi okay a lot of things got redeemed all of a sudden um gotta remember our people eat like five times as much as normal so we want at least like 15 pemmican per person i think at any given time you know what let's just 20 and then with surplus? I don't know what that one does. 
X per person here and have at least like 10 meals per person. 20 pemmican, 10 meals. Uh, the pemmican because it basically never rots. The meals because they'll be happier eating meals. Oh god, at some point we're going to have to do the uh, baby food too. I guess we might as well go ahead and put that on the list. I guess it's not really X per person because we only need it for like the call, call for the for the babies uh with surplus i still don't know what that means just do until you have we'll try to keep like 15 baby foods around and i well we don't have a child yet but whenever we do that's gonna have to be like one of the highest priorities but we're gonna pause that for now okay Oh, you know what else might be a problem? Did this one forever and make kibble. Okay, those are both fine. Kept those settings at least. Optijax having a minor break risk. What's wrong, my guy? Is it because you're hungry? Oh, because you're a night owl. Oh, I didn't realize that. My bad. Okay. Um, Clear all of that. And Optijack is a night owl. So we actually want him to go to sleep like I don't know the the optimal hours for a night owl to go to sleep but there you go you'll go to sleep in the in the morning let's go dude get him noodle is struggling with this turkey over here have you even hit the turkey yet no <laughs> the turkey's fine the turkey cares not dude Okay, we're going to let them do that. What else do we need to do? We need to get a better source of food, but that's that's going to be hard <laughs> to do right now. <laughs> Go ahead and get that stuff hauled out of the way. This here, too. Uh, okay, so we have our, like, workshop room, our common room, or whatever. We have our storage room. We're going to want a kitchen, like a proper kitchen set up probably first. And then I don't think we have the tech for it yeah we don't have the tech for it but we're gonna want a uh a freezer so i'm gonna keep the the theme that we kind of had going of having like 13 by 13 things the biggest size you can do um i guess i have to use both hands i had one hand in my pocket it's a little chilly today not super bad but a little bit 13 by 13 <laughs> Bo has a snaggle tooth. Yes, yes, he does. Uh, throw a door in, we'll say here, since the stockpile's right there. And then we're going to want a... Maybe a combo, like kitchen and dining area. One, two, three. Yeah, that should be big enough. And then we could have like a, a kitchen table and a dining area both in here. And then that'll be our freezer, which is pretty big. That should be basically... All the room we need forever. We'll go ahead and double up the doors too. Or double up the, uh, whatchamacallit, the walls so that it, it's more efficient. And then we'll just cancel. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming, I could be wrong, but I'm assuming that it won't take any more than two air conditioners to make that work. So we're going to want to reinstall this. Oh, do we want it in the kitchen or in here? I hate making people work in the cold. But also, like, if we put it in the kitchen, you're going to get all that blood and stuff everywhere. I guess we could just put it, like, outside the kitchen. It'll get a debuff for, for working outside, but I don't know. We'll just put it in here. We have a lot of space in the freezer. That'll be fine. Especially now that there are, by default, there's the... Uh, Oh, shoot. What do you call it? That that mod we had for shelves and stuff like that. There's a similar thing now by default in the game. There, There's uh, shelves that you can store things in more efficiently. It's not quite as efficient as that mod, but it's also integrated a little bit better. So, I mean, a bit of a give and take there, I suppose. Okay, so we got that stuff going. Nate's cooking some meals. That's good. Once these walls go up, we'll go ahead and officially make this our kitchen. 
What else do we need? It says we need defenses, but like we don't actually have raids enabled, so I don't expect us to really get raided. So I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. Uh, you know what we can do for a source of food right now? I can't believe it took me this long to think of it. We can harvest some wild plants. Oh, our rice is about ready to be harvested too, which will be a huge boon. Just anything that's close by. I don't want them like going clear across the map to harvest food, but if there's any any around the base here, a lot of this stuff is herbal medicine, which I mean is fine, but we don't really need the medicine right now. We just need the food. I guess we could build a manager's desk and we could kind of automate that a little bit too. I'm gonna put that there and then do we have a any sort of chair or anything like that? We have stools, basic wooden stools. And then we can just share the stool between the the stove and the, the manager's desk. Oh wait, is this a manager's desk? We already have a manager's desk. Never mind. We don't need that. Go it. <laughs> that means we can just go in here and automate some jobs. All edible plants. I want to have minus hay grass because our people won't eat hay grass. I guess and ambrosia because ambrosia, I mean, it might be edible, but like it, I don't, it, it's also like a drug. So I don't, I don't think it counts. Anyways, and we want to have not 500. That's a bit much for now. Let's try to keep like 245-ish around. Manage. Uh, might as well go ahead and get our wood in. All but the anima tree cut down. We want to keep at least, uh, you know, honestly, 500 wood is fine. Count all on map. Calculate distance. Yes. Manage. And mining, we'll go ahead and get our steel going. Uh, that's silver, not steel. Where is steel? Am I? There it is. Compacted steel. Got him blind. Count all the map distance. Deconstruct buildings. Check for roof supports. Uh, two hundred and fifty. Ish. Manage. That should be pretty good. Oh, silver. Silver. Might as well get the silver. Rather odd that you sleep on my back if you ask me. Getting frizzy. Oh, we're two people having a little bit of loving down there. <laughs> I didn't notice. I wasn't paying that much attention to, to that. I was focused. I was zoned in on this over here. Okay, silver ore. Try to keep at least, I don't know, 500 is fine, honestly. Manage. If there's any silver ore available. Plus, that'll give our dwarf something to do. He'll, he'll like that. Didn't we change your sleep schedule? Are you just still sleeping from this morning? How's your sleep stat? No, your sleep stat's really low. Why? <laughs> Why is it so low? You said ambrosia and it was used in a sex drug back in the day. Oh, did not know that. Mr. Noodle, what are you doing? Are you hauling? Here, prioritize butchering. I, I understand I have job priorities. You're just doing what you're told, but food for the colony is more important right now, especially because we only have five meals at the moment. <laughs> Let's get some meals going. Okay, okay, okay. Nate's making some pemmican. That's good. Looking at cat harnesses. That's what I'm doing. Oh, I love you. <laughs> you are dangerously low on food. Man, you don't got to tell me. Who's our plant cutter? We have Rue and Chocobo, which Chocobo's good because uh, he never sleeps. So having him on plant cutting is valuable. And just do that shit all hours of the night. Okay, we got a wooden pen marker. Are there any wildlife on the map that would actually be handy for us to try to get a hold of? Like someone that gives us eggs or something? Uh, yes, actually. Try to tame a turkey, male and female. 
Because if we can get some uh, turkey eggs, that'll be consistent food. And since they're just in this little pen over here, taking care of themselves, it's not all that bad. Uh, the other thing we should do is auto-cut any trees. Okay. Good. It's already, it's already set. Excellent. Last thing, I want to go ahead and allow them to build the rest of this pet now. Do we have, we have wood. Who's our constructor? It is Nate. So what is Nate working on? Probably food, huh? Yeah, because we have him set to cooking too. That's fair. I, I mean, the, the food comes first. So that's, that's fine, honestly. Uh, okay, Mr. Noodle. You can go ahead and do whatever the hell you want now. Thank you for making the kibble and all, but it's more important that we have food for the colonists right now <laughs> than food for the, uh, food for the, for the animals. Although I guess we, kibble, we can use that to train animals, so that'll come in handy whenever we try to tame the turkeys. Which will be nice. Nate is, okay, you're still making ball pemmican. Just the fruit that we picked is just kind of all over the map at the moment because it hasn't been hauled over here. Chocobo. Doing some hauling. Nice. And I do kind of miss the mod that would make them grab multiple things instead of like grabbing one thing and walking all the way back. You don't want me to walk the kitty? I mean, you can do what you want. If you want to walk the cat, walk the cat. Although, I don't think it's a great idea. You keep being worried about her getting free. If you start putting her in a harness and walking her around, what do you think is going to happen? Like, <laughs> she's going to start wanting to go outside even more than her curiosity already does, you know? Just warning you, love. Get her a stroller instead. We actually have one. Um, I don't know if it's technically noodles or her mother's or what, but... but us as a whole... <laughs> Yeah, there you go. She has a stroller at her mom's. A cat stroller. All right, let's turn up the speed a little bit so we can get some stuff done. We're not going like super, super speed, but we'll go at the faster speed. Tile inspector. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can hold left alt now, which is nice. If you hold left alt, you get... Before, you just had to turn on a bunch of options in the bottom right to see this sort of thing. But now, just by holding left alt, you can see it, which is cool. Okay, so we got some pemmican. Mr. New has gotten food poisoning from berries. Well, why did you eat the berries? Eat the pemmican. <laughs> At least the pemmican's cooked. Ah, uh, noodle. They paid for it. Stream doesn't like it. Wait, I don't really have a problem with your... With your, your stroller. Oh, you're a night owl too, noodle? I mean, that makes sense. You kind of are in real life. Sleep during the day. And at night, do anything. Offer to walk our cats in, and you said no? Uh, do you really think our cats want to be walked in it? Gary would absolutely hate it. Like, <laughs> oh, we don't have any research, cute. Or, or Katie, rather. Gary might be okay with it, but Katie would hate it. Um... What's the most important thing for us to get off the bat? I mean, Coco would be nice, but honestly, I guess probably... Probably electricity. So we can start getting like some heating, air conditioning, all that sort of stuff set up. Katie, no, yeah, no. Katie would hate that, man. Noodle, why are you having such a bad time? Is it because of the food poisoning? You're in intense pain and your environment's ugly. And you're hungry. And sleepy. Well, I mean, you know what? Honestly, this sounds about right. That's <laughs> Noodle's always hungry and sleepy. Our colonists are really powerful. Don't get me wrong. But man, the amount of food they need is going to be super rough. Like, oh, Noodle's throwing a tantrum. <laughs> Again, this sounds about right. They're throwing a tantrum because they're tired. I've never heard something more accurate. 
and now they're throwing up. This is just, I <laughs> didn't know we were playing a My Real Life simulator here. Oh, and you have morning sickness on top of that. <laughs> Not only are you sick, but you have morning sickness too. Oh, that sucks, dude. Well, Noodle, whenever you're uh, better, <laughs> do you wanna... That eh, won't let me, cause you can't walk. Your baby, by the way, is gonna have psychic bonding, cold tolerant, they're gonna be sleepy, very attractive with cat ears, black hair, tan skin color, dark vision, smooth tails, and they're gonna be strong melee. Errs. Wait, did we already finish researching? Wait, what? For real? Hold on, research? Did we learn about electricity already? Oh, I never clicked on the research button. I'm an idiot. Hey, okay. So this tree is interesting. Um. Oh wait, it's not a tree. Is that a seed? Maybe I don't know what that is actually. Noodle is a cat in human skin. Yeah, they really are, man. They really, really are. There you go, you're getting your food. Are you happy now? Oh, what? <laughs> well, there goes the baby. Good job, Noodle. <laughs> because you were throwing a tantrum and refused to eat food, your baby uh, is no more. <laughs> So much for having a baby. We just... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You're terrible. So much for... Like, we, we can never have a, a child in this colony, though, man. Every time somebody is pregnant or getting ready to have a child in this colony, it just does not work out. Something mysteriously happens to either the... <laughs> the adult or the child, and they just do not have their baby um it is currently what time is it 1600 hours we have an unhappy night owl two unhappy night owls okay so i don't know if they just haven't adjusted yet or if we need to push this back a little bit more we'll push it back a little bit more maybe you guys need to go to bed at 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 I mean, 10 to, 10 to 5 seems about right. Why is a warg hunting Rue? God damn it, man. Can't get anything done. Um, do we have people set to fight? Uh, we do. Okay, good. Now, where's this warg that's hunting Rue? All the way over there. Why are you hunting Rue? There's a dead animal right there. Just go eat that. Eh, whatever. Draft everyone, but... Oh, no, Noodle's not in that bad of a mood anymore. Draft everyone. Come to Rue, I guess. Oh, Noodle, you never grabbed your weapon back after you dropped it. Equip your bow. Grab everyone except for Noodle. And attack. There we go. Undraft. Noodle, I still want you to get your weapon, though. Make sure we get that equipped. And, hey, we got some food. Did we ever try to tame those turkeys? Who's our animal person? Well, didn't we have a kid at one point, but then the kid and my wife were abducted? I don't think so, though I could be wrong. How you doing, Rue? Uh, death in 20 hours, so you're fine. Who's the doctor? Mr. Noodle. What's Mr. Noodle doing? Sleeping. Of course they are. How about you prioritize taking care of Rue <laughs> instead of sleeping? Make sure Rue doesn't bleed to death. You've already let a couple people die. <laughs> Let's not let Rue die, too. Why are you sleeping right now anyways? You're a night person. This is why you can't sleep during your scheduled hours, because you're always sleeping in the middle of the... Well, I was going to say in the middle of the day, but you're always sleeping when you're not supposed to, at least. Optijack's sleeping, too. Why are you sleeping? Hold on. Did I mess something up here? Uh, schedule. And you guys are set to sleep then. Okay. Optijack. Get up. Noodle. 
Get up. Both of you stop sleeping. It's siesta time. For you, it's always siesta time. See? Right back to sleep. Like, <laughs> instantly. Your sleep level is at 32%. Why are you back asleep, too? Your sleep level is also at 30-some percent. Is this broken? I'm confused. Okay, it's 5 in the morning. You guys are supposed to go to sleep in just a few hours. Go do something else besides sleeping. My god, these people. Can't do anything with them. Wait, how did Nate get hurt? Oh, he was in the fight with the ward too. Okay. Didn't realize that. Okay, looks like we got our first right harvest. That's good. I didn't I didn't see it happen, but After the uh, kitchen goes up here area, I think we're going to go ahead and build bedrooms so that people can get their, their rest need more quickly, more effectively. What is this? Oh, that's the seed. Okay. So we're going to plant a tree. Uh, where do we want our worship trees to be? Those are our fields there. We're going to want to put a thingy there. So maybe like here-ish. And then where's the anima tree at? Big fancy tree. It's got to be on the map somewhere. Wait, did it not spawn? There it is. Do we have the ability to... No. Uh, I was hoping we had the ability to... Move it. It might be a mod that lets you do that. Uh, someone's running away. Why is... Oh, there's a heist? Let's do the heist, dude. Heist all. I'll join your heist, Noodle. Even if no one else does. Um, hmm. So so the anima tree, by the way, that's how you get like psychic powers is by working with that thing or one of the ways to get psychic powers. And this tree, if someone takes care of it a lot, uh, you can get little little dryads from it that, that will drop things around for you basically. Um, I don't know if it's worth it for the amount of time you have to spend working on it, but yeah. Oh, uh, allow, allow, allow. Animal wandering away. Okay, Noodle is our person for that. You're hauling some berries. Okay, go ahead and do that. And then when you're done, tie up the animal. I don't know why... The animal's not already tied up. New lovers. Rue tried to woo Mr. Noodle by describing her as a bright seed. Mr. Noodle was attracted and is now Rue's lover. Rue and Mr. Noodle now want to sleep together. Consider in signing them a double bed. Instinctively seeking a mate, Mr. Noodle has formed a psychically bonded romantic relationship with Rue. Rue will benefit psychologically from the connection to Mr. Noodle. But if they are separated onto different world tire tiles, both will suffer from psychic stress. If one dies, the other will be driven to madness. To madness, dude? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's a little bit extreme, my guy. Ugh, that sucks, dude. Okay. Well, I hope one of you <laughs> don't end up dying. If one of you dies, it's going to be a bad time for the colony, dude. So <laughs> let's, let's hope that doesn't happen. Hans want to sleep together. Yes, that'll that'll happen as soon as we're done with the the kitchen here. Uh, Mr. Nudo has gotten sick from dirty cooking area. Uh, I can never get anything done. <laughs> okay. Um, now we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait until the room gets done, and then. Once the kitchen's done, we'll we'll try to make that all clean. Do we have floor mats? Did I install that mod? There's bath mats. See, I don't need no stupid baby. You have Rue. Oh my God, you people. Where is? Hold on. Is it just called mat? Production miscellaneous. There it is. Doormat. Uh, our door should be here. 
So we're gonna want a doormat there. And then, I don't know if we're gonna floor that right away. And I don't want people to track dirt into the kitchen. So I'm gonna put a doormat on both sides. Hey, Nate leveled up in their cooking skill a little bit. Wait, is your cooking skill like crap or something? That's not gonna be good for food poisoning. Nate, you need to learn how to cook, my guy. Yeah, but you are our best cook, sadly enough. Things are going to be a little rough for, for, for a while, but it's fine. We'll get there. Why is no one constructing? I guess it's because it's Nate that's our constructor, huh? But when we set priorities, we didn't realize how much cooking was going to have to be done. Which means I think... Ah, uh, man. No one else has any passion for it at all. It kind of has to be Nate. We just have to hope that we can catch up on cooking enough that Nate can get some more stuff done, I guess. Mr. Noodle has a major break risk. What is wrong now? Slept on ground, ate without table, you're soaking wet, uncomfortable, you hate your barracks, you slept alone, you miscarried, you're in serious pain, you're a night owl in daytime, I keep telling you to sleep at night, or sleep during the day, that's not my fault, and surprise, surprise, you're tired. <sighs> Noodles gonna be a problem, aren't they? Ooh, Rue's doing a little bit of constructing now. Oh, come on. Uh, you know what, Rue? Finish that last one there, and then... Get that, that doormat. There we go. Because now we can go ahead and put in the floors. Just regular wood floors. Nothing fancy. Down. And we can move... A chunk of spacecraft has impacted nearby. That kind of scared me when it blew up. Uh... I guess we can just, like, shove it over there. Way off in the corner? Sure. That seems fine. We can always move it if we want. I don't appreciate the attitude coming from you. <laughs> Rue is a lot nicer. Hush. Where did that spacecraft fall at? Is that it? Ancient war sprinter remains. Ugh. Is that it, or was it somewhere else? I'm thinking that's it. I don't see any other stuff, at least. Might need to turn down the fishing priority a little bit. Although fish is like a major food source for us right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn it down just because we need to get some more stuff done, some construction and stuff done. And we do have some food. Pemmican, 31 pemmican, 17 meals. I guess, uh, you know what, noodle? Where are those turkeys? Oh, one of them left. We don't have a breeding pair now. Are you, you're a female at least. Cannot tame because animal's sleeping. Oh my God. Super speed. Wake this animal up. Please wake up. Is this turkey ever going to wake up? There we go. Prioritize taming the turkey. I was really hoping for a breeding pair, but at least we can still get eggs. So if you and you have a child, what would it be? There's only one way to find out, man. Oh. Hey, let's go, man. Good job, Noodle. All right, rope up the turkey. Hopefully now we can get some, some turkey eggs. A fire breathing cat, maybe. So there's no way to know for sure what uh what you'll get until, until you get it, I guess. Holy crap, Cagney the yak must eat a lot of food. Yeah, this pen is not big enough for, for Cagney the Yak. So, 
so I think Cagney has to go bye-bye. <laughs> Nothing personal, Cagney. You seem cool, but uh, <laughs> you're eating all of our damn food, man. Optijack is an unhappy night out. Look, I really don't know what to tell you, my guy. What time is it right now? 11. Wait a second. 11? Okay, there you go. You go you're asleep now. Tell you what. I don't usually make pawns, like, force them to sleep. But since you guys keep getting unhappy thoughts, I'm going to. Plus, Noodle, like, sleeps 24-7 anyway. So might as well force them to get a full night's rest. Or full, full day's rest, I guess, in that case. I don't know. These things are complicated. If we can just finish up the stupid kitchen, then I'll, I'll build a bedroom and then you two can try for a child. I'm a cat. Cats sleep. Ah, it's annoying. Um, I want to set... Since we do have a turkey... I would love to get another turkey. Turkey, turkey, turkey. There we go. I would like to have... You know, honestly, five adult females seems about right. Only two adult males. Uh, juveniles, I don't care much about, to be honest. Um, trained animals can be butchered. Yes. Pregnant animals, no. Don't get bonded with it. <laughs> Unassigned training targets for animals. Uh, tame... Go ahead and train the young. Like, I really don't care how many young ends there are. I guess we don't need as many young males. Okay, manage. There we go. Because I, I want the turkeys for their eggs more than anything. The weekly 24-hour nap. <laughs> You're annoying? Wow, rude, Noodle. Converter of creation role unfulfilled. Converter of creation. Can we assign that role? Ooh. Begin Prime Fiesta. Expected quality 21%. Uh, I guess maybe we should get one of those people. I know Noodle always wants to be the mayor. They were calling for Mayor Noodle, like, from the get-go. Can we assign that sort of stuff yet? Assign role. We need an ideogram, ritual spot, or altar. Do we have access to ritual spots? We do. I guess that can just go here. It's not a nice ritual spot. We'll have to work on a church at some point. Okay, so back to Noodle. Assign role. I guess Divine Chief would be the closest. Oh, they require visage masks, though. You require hoods. Disabled work? What? The club master doesn't work? Cook, hunt, construct, grow, mine, plant, cut, smith, tailor, craft. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, that's gonna suck. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess... Well, for now, I guess we can't do any of them until we get some clothing going. So what, we need a visage mask? Can we even make that yet? Let's go ahead and get a crafting zone and a tailor's workbench. Because one of those two should be where it's uh, created at. Um, okay, this is like our work area. For now, just put it here. Smash mechanoids, make joints, tribal headdress, war mask, veil... Bows. Kid clothes. Uh, not really then, huh? What's better, the recurve bow? More efficiently delivering a faster shot? Yeah, I'm guessing that's the better one then. We'll do uh, one per, per... Nah, just keep one around. Yeah, just keep keep one around all the time. Then, do we have access to the tailor's workbench? We have access to the art bench. 
That is it. We have, like, nothing, man. <laughs> we really need to get more research done, but it's really hard to get any research done. Whenever all we do is eat all day. <laughs> Turns out having this many uh, genetic variables makes things a bit hard. Who would have thunk it, huh? Okay, this moved. It should have kept our bills, though. Yes, yes, it did. God mode difficulty. Oh, you know something else we can do for now? I wish we could disable cleaning. Just, like, entirely. For certain areas and things. It's like, we're probably wasting a lot of our time cleaning areas we don't care about at the moment. Uh, I should probably put a home zone over the ritual spot. I don't know if the game will get mad at us for not having the ritual spot home zone. Get rid of that. Just unhome zoning the areas we don't really care about. Like, take care of the plants. Keep those areas relatively clean and stuff. Um, I don't think the pen needs to be home zoned. Oh, and then this here too, I guess. Oh, this is off center. Oh, no. No, I fixed it. That just already was growing there. Okay. We good. Actually... Just don't home zone any of that. I don't care. Uh, Look, I don't want that meat to go to waste. So, Nate, what are you working on? You're cloud watching? That sounds nice, man. Butcher. You're going to get your shower real fast? Okay. Oh, dude, we got so much meat. Why are we not cooking? Fire toy is cooking over making more kibble. And the kibble's nice for the animals and all and for, for taming things, but having having enough food for the colony is by far more important, dude. Yeah, let's get those meals up, get that pemmican up. If we get a little bit of a surplus, we might be able to actually um, get some construction done at some point, which would be really nice. Okay, after he's done with this one, there you go. I'm going to clear prioritized work now, so he should do whatever he needs to do. Get food, sleep, do his recreation, whatever Nate wants to do. Which happens to be sleep, understandably. Okay, at the very least, I'm going to try to get them beds. Because the, the sleep stuff will happen much faster, and they won't get the debuff for sleeping on the floor. Um, oh, we don't have normal beds. We just have bed rolls. How much leather does that take? 40. And we need 120 plus 85. So we need 205 plain leather. Where's leather? Okay, yeah, we have 280 leathers. 223 plain leather. That should be enough. Uh... One, two, that'll be three, four. Oh, wait, I did the math wrong. We need 80 plus 85. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. That's not all that bad. Okay, build, copy, and deconstruct. And now double bed roll. Um, I guess you two can sleep over there so you have a little bit of privacy. <laughs> Not much, but it's better than nothing. Solitary Praetor. What what does that entail? Euthymus Takio, a Praetor of the Fallen Imperium, is calling from nearby. His guards were killed in an ambush. He escaped but is now being followed by a manhunting squirrel. Just one? 
And we get some honor. I don't really care about honor. I'm not going for, for becoming kings here or whatever. Um, so I don't want any honor or goodwill stuff. Oh, wait. Hold on. Accept goodwill. Yeah, I don't want any of these, I guess. Hm. Yeah, okay. But I mean, if it's just one man hunting squirrel. Um... Ah, uh, no, because I don't want the honor, honestly. I just don't want to deal with that. What's Nate doing? Cloud watching again. Stop the cloud watching, my guy. Make me a bedroll. There you go. Now make the other bedrolls. And then this is set owner will be Mr. Noodle and Rue. And then the other two can fight over the other ones. Uh, medical beds. We don't need this many, though. Get rid of a couple. There we go. Should be a little bit more comfortable, at least, being in the bedroll compared to sleeping on the floor. If our colonists ever get around to doing some research, then we'll be able to get some uh, actual beds done at some point. Nate, why are you sleeping? I mean, okay, you need some sleep. Do you have something that makes you sleep all the time, too? You're chemically starved. I should have known. Um, no. You're psychically deaf and have a chemical fascination. Why are you sleeping so much? <laughs> you think he crashed? Yeah. Okay, again, I don't usually make people sleep for like full eight hours, but I've given up. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I think I can just copy, yeah. Copy, paste, paste. You're up just painting? We were talking about you in the game, but... <laughs> uh, okay, so night owls hate being up during the day, but... Normal, normal sleepers don't mind. And we want Rue and Noodle's sleep schedule to overlap a little bit. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To ensure that they have time in bed together. So that they can possibly get their, their loving and maybe have a baby. Oh, jeez, we didn't even have the roof constructed over here yet. My god, dude. Ooh, meteorite of limestone, though? Like, I don't really need limestone that bad. 75% grown, 89% grown. Okay, so we should be getting some more food soon. Hopefully. This stuff should be getting close to, yeah, 77%. Chocobo reached level one in intellectual, doing all that research, man. He's not very good at it, but he'll get better as time goes on. Okay, we're going to have to increase construction on some of the people that don't really care for doing it or whatever. Uh, we're not going to do it on our grower. Because can growing our food is super important. Um, Chocobo... You're also a grower, so it might have to be Optijack. What's your main thing? You're mainly a hunter, and that's about it. Congratulations. You are now a really shitty constructor, too. Oh, you're also a manager, but managing doesn't take that much time. Yeah, so stop fishing and get to constructing, man. Oh, of course, you just go to bed. Uh, though it might actually be your bedtime now. Yeah, it is your bedtime now. Fair. Plus, I promised Noodle I would nap with her. Yes. Okay, so we're working on electricity. Was that the right choice? Carpet making? Don't care. Complex clothing? Uh, 
Okay, you know what? Does this give us the visage mask and stuff? T-shirt, tail cap, sash, pants, jackets, face mask. No, it does not. Is it like... Do we just need... Maybe we just need the tailor bench. Complex furniture? Toy box, tool cabinet. Where? How do we unlock the tailor bench? Hand tailor bench. So maybe it's unlocked now, but we can't do it because we don't have a tailor bench? Because how else would you make visage masks? Flat screen. What? Oh no, okay, it's not finding anything. M A S K mask. I mean face mask. Uh, you know what, yeah, get research complex clothing. Learn to do that and then we can worry about electricity later. While we may not particularly care for pemmican, we can always eat some pemmican. Like it's not the end of the world. Okay, we have enough kibble now. We have enough simple meals and pemmican, so Nate should actually... Excuse me? Oh, we must have ate a couple meals. I gonna say Nate should actually be doing some, uh... Some construction here soon. But I guess it's hard to do whenever we have so many people eating all the food all the time. <laughs> also, recurve bow. Let's give that to... Who's better at shooting? Noodle or Optiject? Five. Oh, you're really good at it. Okay, so when you're done doing what you're doing, switch for the recurve bow. And then I think Rue's a meleeer. Yeah, so Rue's gonna keep that. Oh shit, they're all meleeers. Nate, Rue, and Chocobo. Well, never mind. I guess we don't want to equip them with a gun or a, a bow rather. Yak beef just rotted away. That's annoying. Hmm, should we increase the amount of pemmican? Let's increase the amount of pemmican. Let's just go wild with pemmican, dude. After Jack failed constructing a bridge. I mean, yeah, that's gonna happen. Hey, Chocobo. Hauling wood? No. Talk to Tucker. Tucker has packaged survival meals. We have no money. We can sell them a bow for $5. <laughs> that's all we can do. We cannot afford... To buy anything so there you go do we have any silver on the map high fare opportunity uh it's gonna have a really low chance though with what we have right now like prime fiesta 41 great advent Oh, that actually has a good thing. A good chance of succeeding. Fucking Firefox closed itself and then forced an update. <laughs> That's annoying as hell. Um, If the Sky Lantern Festival is beautiful or unforgettable, the Sky Lanterns might attract a group of friendly visitors. The Psy Focus may be recharged to full... Okay, so it's just it's just a feel good thing. Screw it. Let's do let's do the feel good festival, man. Everyone needs some feel goods right now. Hey. Those are pretty. Beautiful great advent. Made everyone feel at peace. Everyone participating in the ritual gains plus six mood. Nice, man. Okay. That's good. We needed that as a colony. You know what I need? A drink, man. Let's grab a drink. Uh, I also need to clear... Okay. The votes and stuff from yesterday.
Oh, you know what? I think we can do. I don't know if it's a good idea to right now. But I think we can encourage people. Uh, okay. You're already lovers. You can encourage people to get together now. Pregnancy approach. Try for baby. Nice. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna tell you to hey, have a damn kid already. <laughs> Ooh, something's happening. Tacos, hell yeah, dude. Shoes are patched and painted. There you go, man. I hope they hold up well for you. I don't like this tree being here. Get rid of it. Same with these ones. Eventually, I want to get, like, roads in between everything here, basically. Those ones are fine down there. Get rid of... Get rid of that one. Give us a little bit of room. Oh, another rice harvest. Very nice, man. I think we're actually good on food now. Thankfully. It was a bit rough there at the beginning, though, with the uh, <laughs> everyone eating so damn much. Uh, Chocobo. Do me a favor. I know constructing is not really your forte, but let's get this fence built so that we can let our animals have a little bit more roaming space. Hey, there we go. Okay. So now we can select similar. All of those deconstruct. There we go. That'll give our animals a lot more space to eat food whenever we get more turkeys. Uh, should we name the turkey? Anyone have a, a an idea for a turkey name? Most of the patching was just where glue had worn away, so it should be good now. Awesome, awesome, dude. Um, I would also like to orders, cut plants. Oh, this is going to do, like, all of it. Isn't there, isn't there a way to, like, salmon has rotted away? I thought there was a way to tell it to only cut, like, trees. Hmm, maybe not. I mean, I can just go, like, one by one like this, I guess. Which is kind of annoying. I just want to get this stuff that, like, blocks us from using it as actual storage. The grass or whatever is fine. Nate didn't get to you in time. That is your number one work priority, right, Nate? Yeah, dude. Why does... What? Why'd the turkey die? Water. Oh, I do this every time. <laughs> oh, dude. I always forget that we have to freaking water our animals because of the mod options that I have. God damn it. We didn't even get any eggs from it <laughs> that I know of. Okay. Do I need anything when you come up to get your glue gun? I don't think so. Water bowl for animals. But this is like a really small one. Just make it out of wood. Um, okay, that's probably the closest watering source. So put it there. Isn't there like... Can also be used for drinking. Water trough. Can we make that out of wood? We can. We'll put a couple water bowls down, I guess. Uh, maybe two. Two and two. Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry, Mr. Turkey One. Never mind. I take back the naming of the turkey, guys. We don't need no names for the turkey. <laughs> Missing body parts rotting. Yeah. Uh, Nate, what are you doing? Cooking four simple meals? 
Um, when you're done with that... Oh, no, don't consume the turkey. Butcher. Oh, and since that's indoor now, we can move our food storage into here. Stockpile zone. Except for this one. Don't want to put anything there. Uh, this is going to be... Clear all. High priority. And it's going to be food. Oh. That was weird. Uh, all food? I guess so. All food. For now, all plants and corpses as well. Not all plants are going to need to be in there, but like, yeah. Um, except for human-like. And I guess mechanoid. We don't need mechanoid in there. Oh, you know what? There's some medicine and drugs that need to be stored in, in there as well. Plant matter? I uh, guess plant matter. Okay, I might be forgetting some stuff. I guess I guess if we get a message that something's rotting, then we'll know that hey, we need to put more stuff in there. But there we go. This should just be a regular storage, right? Yeah, normal. Inspired recruitment. Uh, if we had anyone to recruit, that'd be pretty cool. But we don't. Okay, any cool wildlife? No. We should just go ahead and set up in the manager for wildlife. We're already doing the, the turkeys. Is there anything else? Uh, you can get milk from something. Horses, muffalo. Is it muffalo milk? I think it might be. You better head to beds. So you got work at 10. Gross, man. Have a good night, though, Rue. I hope work goes okay for you tomorrow. Yeah, it must be muffalo. And are chickens not a thing? Cougars, cat, bison, alpaca. You can tell that, like, I'm not used to playing this game without mods. I'm used to there being, like, a hundred different animals in here. Or maybe it's only the ones that have come onto the map so far or something. Toxaloborg. It, it must be muffalo. I think Muffalo have a chance of going wild, though, whenever we try to recruit them. Or not recruit them, but tame them. So maybe we won't do that. Chemical starvation. Disturb sleep. Okay, at least you're not getting the uh, slept on the ground thing anymore. Now that we gave you guys uh, sleeping rolls. All right, and that room got done. I said once that room got done, we were going to start doing... Uh, bedrooms. Let's go ahead and start getting that set up. Structure. Wooden walls. Still gonna keep this kind of system going. It works. So... Do I have... I think I have a mod that makes it so you don't need as big of rooms for people to be happy. Is that too small, though? That's probably too small, though. So I'm just going to go ahead and give people relatively large rooms, I guess. And then... We'll have the doors on the top and bottom. Something like that. What are the furniture? Do we have anything else nice? Not really. We don't, we don't really have furniture at the moment, do we? can reinstall this over here, though. Reinstall. 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 Somebody's in a fight. Oh, and there's a fire. Four should be enough. So we can use these extra ones for, like, there. For there. Five, six. Okay. Oh, that's a bad fire. Yeah, let's get that fire put out. Is there rain? No, it's a dry thunderstorm. Okay, one problem with getting rid of our, the home zone the way that we did is that they won't put out fires anymore. So we are going to have to just go ahead and highlight that back up so they actually put out these fires. 
You know, if Mr. Noodle wasn't sleeping, they could help save our, our crops and things. There we go. Oh man, and now all of this stuff, just, yeah. This stuff just takes too much time, trying to clean, like, the outside and crap. I think there's a setting. Actually, I know there's a setting somewhere to get rid of the automatic home zoning. Is it down? Is it down here? Automatic rebuild. We do want that on. Roof visibility, pollution, blueprints, categorized mode. Learning helpers, zones, beauty, room stats, colonist bar. Automatically expanding the home zone. There we go. Disable that. Oh, oh, big fire. <laughs> uh, wow, okay. So, for the time being, make sure fire no come over here. Chocobo reached level 10 in melee? From beating out a fire? That gives melee skill? Hmm. I did not know that. That honestly makes no sense at all. But whatever. I mean, I guess you're beating on stuff, so... Maybe it makes sense? I don't know. Oh, god damn it. I missed just this little bit right here. There you go. Ah, oh, damn. It's spreading this way. I'm fine if the fire spreads that way, but don't let it spread this way. <laughs> Keep it going away from the house. Actually, no, I just put out this whole little section of it. Oh, there we go. We got foggy rain now. That'll, that'll put it out on its own. So we're good. Get rid of all that. Oh, jeez. And all of this, too. All of that. And all of that. See, like, before, they would have ran all the way down there to the fishing area to put out fires or to clean and stupid stuff like that. Like, dude, we really don't care about that sort of stuff. Chicken. Chickens are an animal. Yeah, it must just be ones that have been on the map before. Huh. Now you know. A short shrub does not typically talk. Good to know, I guess. I thought shrubs were well known for talking. Four desperate refugees are approaching. Their leader is called Paulette. Say a great flash storm burned down their home. Begs for permission to stay for 11 days so they can rest and regroup. I honestly just don't think we can handle that right now. Optijack and Nate got into a social fight with each other. Good job, dickheads. You couldn't even finish one of the rooms before you did it? You know, you'd probably have a better schedule, Mr. Noodle, if you slept when you were told to. Just saying. How bad are you? Your left ring finger was destroyed. Good job, guy. What do we have bed rest set to a five? So they'll do their, their highest priority stuff before they focus on just basic rest. <sighs> oh, dude, we got one of the rooms. Okay, we're going to give the happy couple a bedroom first. Um, like that. And there's another room done. I guess we'll give that to Nate. And since the happy couple's trying for a baby, they can have the first crib. And then Optijack will get a room once the construction finishes on another one of them. Make some love in you two. Are either one of you, like, unable to have children? 
You're 22. You're 30. No, so you guys should be good to have children. Infection. Object has gotten sick from an infection. The infection is in her left arm. That's not good. Um, yeah, go go rest that off, man. How bad is the infection? You got an infection because Nate bit you. <laughs> God damn it. Immunity, 8%. Infection, 10, 12. No, okay. Optijack, you can go ahead and bed rest as a number two priority. Yeah, for now, do that. Um, rest until you. I don't want to lose someone to a stupid infi infection because Nate bit them on the arm. Like, <laughs> damn dwarves. Can't trust them. How's our food situation? Oh, we're caught up. Aren't we growing some psychite? Cotton corn. Maybe not. Hay, hops, rice, strawberry potato, corn, cotton, and a bunch of rice. Um, okay. I think our rice, our food situation has mostly been handled. So I'm going to shrink this zone by that much. And then growing zone, leave a little space. And try to grow some psychite. Or psychoid. At a, uh... I guess a low priority for that. And this here can now... Oh, I didn't mean to click harvest now. Ah, whatever. Um, this doesn't need to be on critical anymore. That can just be on normal. Priority. Who's starving? Optijack. Noodle, because you're sleeping, of course. Feed off the jack. The dude's literally fighting for his life here. Like, least you can do is help him out a little bit. He has a major infection. The infection is outpacing his immunity. We might have to cut off his arm. I don't want to cut off his arm, <laughs> but we might have to cut off his arm. Um medical deconstruct noodle or optijack rest until healed okay get you at least a better bed to lay in my god I'm really worried a mercenary leader named diver is crashing in a transport pod it's from our enemy capture for slavery purposes uh, no. I, normally, I would be willing to do that sort of thing, but we just can't right now. Because we, we have no extra beds or anywhere to put them. Oh, speaking of extra beds, though, let's go ahead and... Furniture, plain leather bedroll. Do we have enough? We do, just barely. Then what's this? Bird skin, okay. Bird skin bedroll. How you doing, Optijack? Infection major, 64, 53. Okay. Immunity is slowly catching up now. We just have to keep an eye on your, your food and stuff like that. Make sure noodles are actually taking care of you. Speaking of taking care of, I need to grab my drink. Oh, okay. Okay, food is getting bad. Mr. Noodle, prioritize feeding. Infection extreme. Uh, yeah, dude, we're going to have to cut off his arm. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's just not catching up quick enough. Yeah, it's still 10% off. Okay. Okay. 
Sorry, OptiJack. You're losing your left arm because Nate decided to bite you. Um, harvest, harvest, harvest. Amputate. Wait, was it leg? Why has that one got a plus sign on it? I thought it was your arm. Yeah, it's your left arm. Your left leg has a scratch scar, but like... Why does this one have the plus sign? Uh, I don't know if something's broke here or what, but no. Amputate left arm. Left arm infection. Left arm amputate. Okay. Mr. Noodle, it's all up to you. Prioritize operating. Quickly, before the infection spreads and he dies. It is slowly catching up, but not fast enough. N Noodle, why are you sleeping? Oh, because I have your stupid work schedule set to be sleeping right now. Or whatever. <sighs> okay. Noodle anything. Uh, da -da -da -da, noodle... Cannot finish off. I don't want you to finish off. Undraft. Operate. He's gonna die before you can operate, like... I just hope we don't screw up the operation. Surgery failed! Oh, no! Now you have some cuts? I mean, we have to do it again. We have no choice, man. Amputate left arm. Noodle. Operate. Quickly, before he dies of this stupid infection. He's gonna die. Oh no, I accidentally, the game crashed and I had to reload from the last save. <laughs> My god, dude. Okay. Medical. Deconstruct. Rest until healed. How's your health? You're still starving to death because Noodle is too busy sleeping to feed you. <laughs> okay, and we already know that your infection is going to outpace. Maybe we fed you in time. We're going to keep a closer eye on it this time. We're going to go super speed for a moment. We're going to start the operation sooner, though. If it's not catching up... 41, 42... Two got malaria this time! Nate and Rue both? Oh my god! <laughs> I can't catch a break! Action major. 56, 58... Yeah, no, it's about... It's still about halfway there. Okay. Operations. Amputate left arm. Noodle for all that is holy. Please don't screw up the operation. Look, I know you're not trained doctor or anything, but like... Did it work? Oh, good. It, it worked this time. Okay, left arm is gone. Medical treatment needed for the other two now. So I got to put those temporary freaking things. I guess we can make one of these rooms a hospital is what we can do. Uh, furniture... Okay, we can make we can make two bird skin and plain leather. Nate. Okay, work on the other one first. And wait, we don't have enough bird skin? I thought we just Oh, because somebody was moving the bird skin or something. There you go. Struck bird skin. Okay. These two. Medical. This one. 
Reinstall here. It's not going to be medical anymore. Combat for profit? Meh. I do want to do more like of those kind of mission things later on in life, but wait, why is Rue? Oh my god, not medical. Oh, Optijack's up and walking around. Er, oh my god, he's laying in that bed. I just want the bed to get reinstalled. Preserved by Optijack? Then Optijack, do it then. Somebody just put Optijack's bed in his damn room. And flooring. Let's get some floors down. And the, the medical wing, at least. We'll worry about the rest of the bedrooms later. We also need that doormat. Under miscellaneous? Yeah. How much do you need? Just seven cloth? Oh, we got 350. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's right. We had that cotton growing. It must have finally grown. Some salmon rot right away. That's fair. You always sound frustrated with us. I am. You're all a bunch of children. What do you expect? <laughs> What's that? Shift to the stars. Don't really care about that. Optijack's unhappy night owl. You're literally asleep. How are you on unhappy night owl? Now Mr. Noodle is. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I give up with you people. <laughs> um. Okay. Because it won't automatically be harvested. Let's make sure we tell it to harvest all of that stuff and this strip here. Oh, we're going on, like, super, super speed. Let's just go on, like, standard fast, not super fast. All right. This should be a lot cleaner now because of a mix of the doormats and having um, flooring down in here now. So that's good. It's not, like, perfect, obviously. Which, in fact, Nate, you should probably clean the kitchen before you start cooking anything else. Um... Okay, the doormats aren't doing a great job. Do they need flooring underneath of them to work properly? They might. I guess I should probably do the same over here too, just in case. Transport pod crash. Uh, I mean, we are in a tiny bit better spot than we are were before. We could turn this into a combo prisoner slash whatever. You hate us, though. You're going to die in seven hours. You're some sort of cat person or pig person or something. Extremely low expectations. Health. What kind of... What are you good at? Shooting, animals, and crafting. You're not good at any of the stuff that we need someone to be good in, though. Oh, and you're a teetotaler and a gourmand. Hunger rate times 150. Yeah, we really don't need any more of that. And you're incapable of firefighting, plant work, or mining? Yeah, no. Uh, goodbye. Yep. <laughs> Alright, Nate, you are taking care of your malaria. You're gonna be fine, though. Your immunity's outpacing your infection. Who's the other one that had malaria? Your immunity's outpaced it as well. Um, we need to change this back to a five for you and for now. Rue and Nate. Go ahead and get more rest, man. Just until the malaria works its way out of your system. What did I just tell you? I literally just told you to get more rest. Why are you up and running around? Nate, same with you. What are you doing? There you go. Now you're going to rest. Okay, you're about to get your immunity, though. And... You're pretty close, too, but Noodle... Make sure Rue gets some, some tending. So that Rue doesn't die. 
Okay, it's close, but they're gonna be fine. There we go, developed immunity. So you're good. Oh boy. Close there for a moment, huh? Okay, so now the big thing is we just need to get more time for people to research. Which means maybe we can turn up somebody's researching a little bit. Rue's the main researcher, but you're also our grower. Um, let's put down your hauling and cleaning responsibilities. So you're more likely to get some research done. Chocobo has a super low priority research, but... You just do a little bit of everything, don't you? Smith, Taylor, Art, Craft. Yeah, I think we'll leave it the way we have it. Ooh, Nate's getting some mining done. He should be happy about that. He is a dwarf, after all. Hey, there we go. And Rue's getting some research done. Excellent. A buck self-tamed. Well, thank you. We will gladly accept it. Uh... I didn't think dryads form naturally. I thought we had to take care of the tree for the dryads. I'm a little confused. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Are there any cool animals on the map? Horses, which would be nice to have eventually. Raccoons, hares, rats, boomalobes. Yeah, no. Nothing worth taming at least. Uh, we might as well get some more flo flooring down. Rue doesn't really do much in the way of construction anyway, so it won't hurt. Floors. Wood. Let's get the kitchen area finished first. As far as that goes. here. I don't care about it as much, I guess, in the the storage room here, but I mean, you might as well. Uh, cancel. Because it'll cut down that wall to do it. We don't want that. Nice. And then, uh, yeah, dude, just do it all. Screw it. Do it all. Floors. Wood floor. Let's get the bedrooms, too. It'll make everyone happier. set your bed rest priorities. We have a lot of hay. And we don't really have it much in the way of uh, animals right now. So let's do bills. Uh, we need to change the details on this. To allow all corpses unless yeah okay hey Nate I need you to butcher something for me buck one is being attacked by grizzly bear what why can we just not have animals dude well, I'm not gonna fight off a grizzly bear for for a random animal. Animalism disapproved. I thought we had that. Oh. I didn't realize we would get negative thoughts for just for the killing part. I knew we weren't supposed to eat them, but. <laughs> yeah, well. You can't have anything. That I know, man. Every time we start to get something, like. Wait, what's unallowed over here? Oh, allow. I unallowed the buck. Grizzly bear and animal pen. I would like to get it out, but... uh, uh There's so many other animals on the map. I can't believe it went for our buck, of all things. Like, really? I don't suppose we can actually build... 
storage shelves yet, can we? No, we must need to learn to do that. Which is fair. Uh, you know what would come in handy? Having a lamp in the kitchen. They would probably appreciate that. Hey, OptiJack has reached level 2 in construction. Congrats, dude. Oh, and then I was going to put the hay here on super low priority. Uh, and no petty jobs. Yeah. Like, because we, we have a ton of hay. We don't really need more right now. Honestly, you know what? Same with the, the hops. No petty jobs. Low priority. We'll keep the heel root going. And all the food and the cotton. Must be doing well with one arm. Oh, I forgot already. How is he doing with his one arm? Where's he at? Right there. I mean, he's constructing just fine, man. Cargo pods. What do we get? A bunch of fish. I mean, we'll take it. Not going to say no to more food. Oh, uh, Mr. Noodle. You're fishing? No. Equip recurve bow. I think we need to turn down the fishing priority a little bit. Six, six. I guess... I guess you just already did, like, all of the stuff you like to do. Which, in that case, I mean, why not go fishing? Uh, schedule. Do we have everyone's schedule set? Still, we do. Good, good. We need more research getting done. Like, bad. At least we are almost done with complex clothing, so hopefully then we can make our, our special clothes for our people. Because once we can make our special clothes for our people, then we can do, do the roles and things. Production. Uh, is it too early for an art bench? I feel like it's too early for an art bench. Also, why do we not have wood? Okay. Okay, it's being cut down now. The manager is doing its job. It just hasn't been delivered. Yeah, there we go. I see some right there. I'm sure there's more around here somewhere. I mean, I know we're building a lot out of wood, so I didn't expect to have a ton, but I also didn't expect to be literally out of it either. There we go. Having that torch in there should make them a little bit uh, happier whenever they're cooking and things. And make it a little more effective. Make sure our home zones are set up properly. Eventually, I'm going to have, like, doormats on all those, so I want to do that part so they get cleaned. Looks good. Is there anything else we have that we should be building now, though? Production. You can't do shit there. Party spot? Eh. Not really. Recreation. I guess we could get a game of herb board. Do we want that in our kitchen or in this crafting area, I guess? We first search for this complex clothing. Dope. Okay. We're going to look into that. Smithing, stone cutting. Stone cutting would be nice to have. Noble apparel. Royal apparel. Drug production, electricity. Heating, plumbing. Um. Carpet making? No. Complex furniture, I guess. That's like the next. Well, no, let's get stone cutting because I want to start getting some of our, our flooring in between stuff done. And then after that, we'll get complex furniture. And then maybe beer and then electricity. Maybe electricity and then beer, because having temperature-controlled rooms would be very handy for, for the beer making. 
Uh, we were about to put something down, though. The wooden game of herb board over here in the corner with a couple stools. I don't know what side you actually stand or sit on to play that game, but gonna assume that's good enough. What did we actually just... Clothing. Production. Hand tailor bench. Let's get that. I guess just right here is fine. Food situation still okay? Yeah. We need a couple simple meals, but it's not that bad. Might actually be overdoing it on food now. Um, I'm going to... For this one here, I'm going to do the no petty jobs thing. And put that rice field on low priority too. We'll see if the rest of this is, is a high enough priority. If not, then I mean whatever. Oh hey, our Ambrosia did its thing, which means Nate chemical hunger um consume ambrosia chemical want okay, so it's not a hunger anymore open defecation, oh, you guys want whatever, uh the other thing we can do, too, somewhere in here. Here we go. Drug pro policies. So, Luciferium, never use unless you're addicted. Panoxylin, yes, we want you to use... I forget how often you need to use it. I'm going to say once a week. Panoxicillin helps stop you from getting sick. Uh, Psychite tea you can use socially. Um... Ambrosia. What's the actual? A soft rare fruit. Ambrosia tastes wonderful and produces a subtle mood increase in chemical high. If eaten too often, it can generate a mild addiction. Yeah, we don't want anyone to get addicted. What's the random overdose chance? 0%, so you can't randomly overdose. Safe dose interval for adults, 1.6 days. Okay, so for people that... Normal people, we're not going to... Well, yeah, well, that's Psychite Tea. For the Ambrosia, though, for the Chemical Fascination, we want Psychite Tea on, yeah. Recreation, or no. No, 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 I want Ambrosia on. Is there, like, policy... I guess we'll just have to make a new policy, maybe. Yeah, okay. New policy. Oh, I have cap socks on, apparently. Social drugs chem fash. Edit. Select. So you can still use these for recreation. Um... You can use Ambrosia up to every two days if your mood's below 50%. Uh, and you can, we're going to encourage you to use Psychite Tea literally once every two days, regardless. There we go. Drink some tea and stuff. That should help Nate feel better with his chemical needs. I'm surprised we still haven't... Oh, that's right. We started growing the Psychite really, really late. It's getting there, though. There's one random potato growing up here. Uh, cut plant and get rid of the grow zone. I don't know why we have one random potato up here. Delete zone. Oh, Mr. Noodle's pregnant. Let's hope this one holds. 
how do we see your baby's stuff again? Maybe it's too early. Oh, no, there it is. Baby's genes. Okay, so it will become psychically bonded with people. That's kind of a bad thing. It'll be fast and aggressive. It'll be sleepy. I wish it wasn't, but okay. It'll be robust. Um, very attractive. Have red eyes. Only bushy beards with cat ears. A heavy brow and facial ridges. Have either a standard or a Hulk body or a mix of the two. Have black hair, tan skin, dark vision, and poor shooting. So no fire breathing. Um, it actually has a more mild hunger rate too. It won't be as hungry as everyone else does. It's, it's less mutated than either of the parents, which, I mean, we kind of made the parents broken. So I guess I'm not super surprised, but... We have a lot of construction queued up. Let's just go ahead and let some of this stuff get done here. A lot of fish is rotting away. Yeah, we have too much fishing going on, but I mean, like, you might as well do something. I guess... I mean, the one thing I guess we could do is, uh, like, force them to do something recreational. But I don't know, man. Oh, shit. 12 simple meals rotting away. That's that's not good, though. Cape, head wrap, massage mask. Yes. Oh, that takes, like, actual stuff. They're, we're going to make it out of wood for now because, well, no, we have a shit ton of steel, actually, so whatever. I don't care. Make it out of either one of those. Um, And we want to have... Not do X time. Do until you have. Just keep one around all the time. I don't care the quality or anything right now. We also want to have at least one hood. Uh, we also want robes around. Again, don't care what they're made out of right now. Just keep some sort of robes around for everyone. Face mask, sash. Our hood's not in here? Duster, t-shirt, pants, parka. There it is, hood. Keep one hood around. Okay, so now once we finish some of this construction, <clears throat> excuse me, once we finish some of this construction here now, we can actually, oh, we got some mad guinea pigs we're gonna have to fight off. Once we finish some of this construction, we can start creating like our temple area around here somewhere. Uh, and we can assign people roles too. But where are these mad guinea pigs and how many? Three of them? Okay, three is not too bad. I think we can do three, or handle three. Draft everyone. Get you out here. Okay, you two, come this way. Oh god, they're all going for Optijack. Okay, Optijack, kite them. Uh, Rue, Nate, you come down here. Uh, Rue, you can fire spew this one. Nice. Okay. Search and destroy. Search and destroy. They are just freaking guinea pigs after all. Oh, did I not put you on search and destroy? There we go. There we go. Good job, guys. And Chocobo, I think, was the only one that got hurt. And I don't think it was particularly badly, right? It's probably just a scratch or something. Yeah, just a couple scratches. As long as you don't get an infection or anything, that'll be fine. It's raining, so we don't need to worry about the fire out there. We should be good. That wasn't too bad. You're done with your crafts for tonight. You made a lot of progress, though. I'll have to check it out whenever I get downstairs. I'm excited to see them. More simple meals have rotted away. Not good. That's probably a sign that we're making too many, though. Holy shit, yeah. Almost all of them rotted away. Ten per person probably is a little bit much. I just wanted a bit of a excess. Um, But, I mean, you know what? Honestly, it's fine. Like, I'm going to leave it on. Because here soon we're going to do the whole freezer thing. One other thing I'm going to do, though, 
for now i'm gonna put it under the simple meals i'm gonna go ahead and start making baby food as well what do we need for that uh okay so pretty much anything that you'd make regular food out of is a john snow show coming soon i mean i haven't heard anything but that doesn't mean no i haven't really kept up with like the the going ons for that sort of stuff oh wait nate took some scratches too Blood loss moderate. You almost died to a guinea pig, my guy. Hopefully you're fine now. Cooking some food, I'm guessing. Vegetarian meals, maybe? Yeah. Nice. Reach level 7 in cooking, too. Good. Good, good, good. You're getting good at cooking. I like that. We need a good cook or two. Um, before you cook too much more, though, when do these rot? 1.9 days, 2 days, 1.9. I guess we have a little bit longer before I'll make you butcher them. Oh, well, okay. You decide to butcher them anyways because your stove ran out of fuel. We're not out of wood, are we? We are basically out of wood. Um, Chocobo. Harvesting corn. Okay, before you do that. Oh, Optijack's doing the, res or the, the management. So we should be good. He should flag a lot more stuff to be, to be chopped down. Yeah, there we go. Bunch of stuff flagged to be chopped down now. We're just using a lot of wood at the moment, building all these floors and everything. But the psychic drone blow female? Oh god, I saw the grizzly pair the grizzly bear in Animal Pen. I got really scared. I thought there was like some sort of psychic drone on grizzly bears. Oh boy. Okay. Miscellaneous. Let's go ahead and get cloth doormats. They're gonna be mismatched. It's gonna look a little dumb, but. I don't care. It'll help keep things clean. The more clean things are, the less time we waste cleaning. <laughs> Chocobo has a minor break risk. What's wrong, Chocobo? Are you a female by any chance? Low psychic drone. Yeah, you are. Oh, and are you... You're not, like, psychically susceptible or anything, are you? You might be. No converter of creation. Okay, you know what? Let's grab who's our best crafter. Or tailor, rather. Actually, we have a lot of people that are decent at it. Optijack. Chocobo's a six. Four. Seven. Chocobo's probably going to end up doing it the most just because they never sleep. So let's grab Chocobo. After you eat your food, prioritize making some of the clothing. I don't know what clothing you're making, but we've been dealing with the not having assigned roles for too long now, honestly. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to make Mr. Noodle. Social, sign roll, divine chief. Yes, begin. Uh, whatever, begin it now. Oh, good. The visage mask is actually done now, too, so. Good, good. Converter of creation roll. I guess Rue. Since Rue is kind of who our thing is based off of. Begin. Then when we're done with that, Chocobo, take care of your food and mood needs and then get us a hood for a room. There we go. Now that we have those rolls, less people should be angry. Oh good, he automatically started doing that. Um, Mr. Noodle, when you're done sleeping. You should automatically equip the facage mask, so I guess I'll just wait and see if you do. 
There's one coming and Kit Harrington pitched it and brought his own writers and stuff? No way. That's really cool. House of the Dragon is set to come back 2024, so they're thinking the Jon Snow one might come out in 2025. Very cool. Wait, what are you doing now? Stop. Just clear prioritized work. <laughs> Go ahead and take care of yourself, Jokobo. That's fine. Nice, right? Why don't you ever let me sleep? You sleep too much. All you do is sleep. <laughs> it's not my fault, man. I am with child. Let me sleep. How are you? Actually, we do need to make sure you're okay as far as like food and stuff goes. As long as you don't start starving or anything, you should be fine. I have a feeling, though, you're going to like go to sleep so long that you're going to starve. And it's going to be entirely your own damn fault. Wait. Why did you put the visage mask down? Don't you need that? social. Divine Chief required apparel visage mask. Put the damn mask on, Noodle. Do we have that, like, disabled in our assignments or something? Current outfit, anything. Yeah, we have literally everything enabled. Uh, the one thing I do actually want to do, if it's below, like, 55 hit points, take it off and get something new to wear. You should automatically put it on because your roll. Do we need to like force you to take this off or something? You're comfortable down to negative 42 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Holy hell, man. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I remembered one other thing we can build. The latrines. Go ahead and get a uh, small bathroom somewhere. I guess we can make like a tiny one in your guys' rooms. You would be happy about that. But it would be tiny. Uh, you know what? For now, maybe we'll just make like a public bathroom somewhere. Like a little outhouse just over here. Off to the side. It'll have two bathrooms in it. Wait, you know what? Cancel. Cancel. Wooden latrine. One, two, three. Wall space. Two of them. Uh, wooden stall door. And... God, I'm blind. Wooden walls. There we go. Couple simple public bathrooms. And we might as well go ahead and get a well nearby for you guys. So you don't have to go as far whenever you need water. Um, I guess, you know what? Right outside, <laughs> you poop there. And then we collect the water right there. That makes sense. I'm sure that won't become contaminated at all or anything. That should be fine. Go ahead and home zone this stuff and that. Another combat supplier. I'm pretty sure we're still poor, aren't we? Oh, we do have 289 silver now. Chocobo, what are you doing? How's your recreation? It's okay. Good enough to go trade, at least. Um, We'll sell the short bow. We don't need the ambrosia, but it's kind of nice to have. You know what would be nice to have? Some real medicine. LMG is too, way, way too expensive. We don't have that kind of money around. We need to start making statues or something. Like, just some stuff to sell at some point. After we figure out stone cutting, that might be something we work on. Let's get a uh, urgent haul on that. Get it off the floor there. Genes and xenotypes. We'll figure it out as we go along. We don't need the game to tell us how it works. No, don't let stream plan facilities in a survival situation. <laughs> It'll be fine. I don't know what you guys are worried about. Okay, we should probably make some, like, regular clothes, too. I'm assuming if we grab just anyone, go to their gear. 
Yeah, so the, the robe goes, like, over the normal clothes. So we should still be able to wear, like, pants and things. So let's make... Uh, what do gods wear? <laughs> I guess, honestly... Oh, no. Felicia is being attacked. We're going to take care of that. I guess, honestly, like, hoods in general are good for people to wear. Did I miss something? In the game, she's with child. Uh, but just regular pants and t-shirts, probably. We don't want dusters or anything, because we're going to be wearing robes. Do capes? It hangs over one side of the torso. Do we want... Urka robe. Covers torso, left shoulder, left arm. Layer outer, though. And if we look at cape, that's also the outer layer. Yeah, so we can't have that. T-shirt is skin layer. Pants should be skin layer. Make slave body strap. Let's go. Uh, I guess some kids clothes. Kid romper, shirt, pants, parka. Make sash? Huh. Layer middle. Offers minimal protection from heat, cold, and attacks. Uh, I don't know. We don't really need that right now. Okay. Until you have, until you have. Just want to keep one of all clothing around. Don't care what it's made out of or anything. Just want to make sure our people have clothes to wear. Is Noodle finally wearing the massage mask? No. Who's wearing the mask? Here. Yeah, you're not wearing it. You're not wearing it. Why is OptiJack wearing it? <laughs> Drop it. Take it off, OptiJack. <laughs> Where's he at? Where'd you take it off at? There it is. Mr. Noodle, I guess I have to force you to wear it. I don't know why I have to force you to wear it. You should automatically grab it because of your thing. Also, Felicia's dead. Um, also, you only have one arm. Yeah, OptiJack. You also... <laughs> You, you may or may not have lost an arm, my guy. Uh, sorry about that, but, you know, things happen and all. Okay, so now that we actually have, like, some, some happy people, can we, like... We can do a lot of stuff. Prime Fiesta. 66% chance of it being good. Let's do it. I don't remember what the Prime Fiesta does for us. Oh, did I just make Mr. Noodle leave the Prime Fiesta? I hope I didn't. <laughs> the co coolest people only have one, so... Hey, we got a random wanderer! Let's go, dude! A plank cutter named Arthur. He's willing to contribute, but will not leave voluntarily. Where's he at? Hold on. Postpone. Where's Arthur at? Is this Arthur? No, that's a turtle. Uh, can I just, like, I guess accept. Jump to location. I just want to see his stuff first. Okay, he has a small scratch scar. That's not that bad. Jealous. You're a jealous person? Jealous, very neurotic misogynist. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> I don't like Arthur. Can we give Arthur back? Can we just, can we get rid of Arthur, please? Oh god, what's your uh what's your skills at least like? You're really good at planting, so you can help Chocobo with that. Uh you have passion for cooking, so you can help with that. So plants, cooking, and then intellectual. Okay. Oh god, why do you have to suck so bad though? Uh basic one. You won't take care of children, that sucks. Nine, nine, four, 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 uh, 
four. Four. Okay, you're going to be five. The researchers get a, get a little bit of a break on that. And you actually like colony management stuff, so you can help OptiJack with that. Okay, everything else will be a nine. Oop. Nine. Oh, wait, except for... Oh, no, no, no. I was going to say except for hunting, but you're fine on that part. Oh, my God. Why do you have to suck so bad, Arthur? Okay, so we need... We need another set of bedrooms for Arthur. At the very least, he needs a sleeping spot for now. Furniture. Do we have enough plain leather? We do. Arthur. There you go. Make your own damn sleeping spot. How about that? There you go. Set owner, Arthur. Having another colonist should be nice, though. Oh, dude, we have so much food. We are, we're definitely good on food. Um, honestly, for now, like... Wait, what's the smart mode do? Sow plants and lawns as predicted growth will reach the minimum harvest. Oh, well, you know what? Do that for everything. Z zones to on... Wait, can I not set them all to smart? Oh, set zones to smart, yeah. And then... For now, this rice patch... Can I just, like... Force off. There we go. Don't worry about sowing it anymore. Get the last harvest out of it, but after that, don't worry about it. Oh, shit. They're actually planting stuff over here? <laughs> I didn't want you to plant stuff over here. Um... I thought I had it turned off. Maybe when I just turned it on smart, maybe they started doing it. Because I just want to keep collecting the ambrosia as long as it's alive. It's the only reason I actually put it here. Yeah, because we, we, are, we are solid on food for a while, man. Uh, you're rotting? Hey, we got stone cutting. Awesome. Okay. So beer brewing or complex furniture? Nate should be okay for now. So just complex furniture. And then probably electricity and then beer brewing. And since we got stone cutting, let's get our stone cutting table set up. Stone cutter's table. Uh, you can... Sh uh, no, you can't literally share a spot. Um, I think they can climb over it if they need to to play the game. Of Ur. So I guess we'll put it here. It kind of looks dumb, but it'll be fun. Mr. Noodle and Optijack are both unhappy with their schedules again. Well, that's not my problem, is it? Where's Arthur? There you are. Okay. Uh, stone blocks. I don't really care the type. Just make any stone blocks and try to keep around, like, 500. Oh, not thousands. Holy crap. Why can I only do chunks of 20? <laughs> okay, details. 500. Thank you. And then when you fall down to like 250, go ahead and start doing it again. Close. There we go. Because once we have some stone blocks, we can start doing some roads and stuff. It'll be nice in between all the buildings. What time is it? Oh, shit. It's 2.30. Uh, I guess we kind of got to stop it here, man. I didn't realize how late it was. Well, <laughs> Rue, did you at least get your hood? No. Who's wearing your hood? Why do these people suck? <laughs> Who's wearing the hood? Sheeple flop hat. Arthur's wearing a toque. Where's our hood at? Did it not get crafted? Uh, here. Bills. Real massage mask. No, it didn't. Oh, well, that sucks. Whatever. Is Arthur any good at crafting? We do need, like, a dedicated crafter at some point. No, Arthur kind of sucks at crafting, actually. 
He's the only one of our people that sucks at crafting. <laughs> Everyone else has it as like a secondary job. Oh well. Uh, what other stuff do we have? Great Advent we can't do yet. Role changes. Conversion rituals. Public executions. 150 berries right away. That sucks. Can somebody please get rid of this alpaca? Do not allow rotten. <laughs> get rid of the rotten corpse, please. <laughs> that cannot be good for our food hygiene, man. Oh, we got the baby food now, too. Somehow we ended up with 40. Is it like sets of 10? Maybe it's sets of 10. Nate, what are you been up to? Why haven't you been cooking? Oh, you're you're cooking now. I guess you were just, I don't know, sleeping or something. Psychic soothe female this time. That's nice. Adorable cougar? Laura Toad, Great Cheese of Conga League, is looking for a safe settlement to take care of his pet cougar. Reno is suffering from paralytic abasia, must be kept in bed. That's annoying, but all that means is that we have to feed it for 21 days. Honestly, I don't really want any of this stuff. Temporary mood boost to everyone in the region. I guess the Psychic Soothe Pulsar could come in handy. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. Um, and then we're going to put an animal sleeping spot in Mr. Noodle's room. Um, there we go. Rue. Rescue Reno. There you go. So now we just have to we just have to make sure that Reno stays fed for a little while, that's all. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh and we'll get a psychic soother thing. So that if, if the colony starts having a real bad time, we can kind of soothe people's moods. Uh that should be good. But anyways, guys, I like I said, I guess that's all the time we have for tonight. Uh I didn't realize quite how late it had gotten. I can't bring myself to stop. Uh <laughs> Wooden art bench can go here. Yeah, I really didn't lay this out super efficiently, did I? Uh, now I don't want to have it like two different layouts. Cancel. Wooden art bench. And then it'll have to be spaced for it to be decent, but I guess we can put the rest of the stuff down the middle. Okay, anyways, no, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the new ruse. I love RimWorld. I'm having a ton of fun playing it. Today's Friday, so I'm going to be taking tomorrow off, but I'll be back on Saturday with some PS2 something another. Hopefully something fun. Oh, no, wait. Not be back on Saturday. I just said I'm off on Saturday. Sunday. I'll be back on Sunday with the, another PS2 something another. Until then, though, guys, have a wonderful night. Thank you all so much for coming out. Uh, as always, be kind to each other. And yeah, that's it. Bye-bye, y'all.